It's a truly special phenomenon for an artist to be considered ahead of their time, creating sounds that set trends or predict what is to come. Black Sabbath, Pinkerton, 808s, and Heartbreak, they all set a precedent for their respective genres. Well, I've recently stumbled across something truly ahead of its time in a way that few things are. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. That would be a performance in 1970 by the band Kraftwerk, conjuring up the blueprints of a genre that wouldn't exist for at least 20 years. Kraftwerk as a band are already highly regarded as being godfathers of electronic music, synth pop, and prog rock. They were pioneers in polyphonic sequencing and bringing a human touch to computer music. But I'm not here to discuss Kraftwerk's official discography or legacy, as impressive as that may be. Instead, this early performance in Germany blew my mind. I know, it's kind of rough, abrasive. What's intriguing to me is how much it sounds like trance music, a subgenre of EDM in the 90s. I mean, the drum patterns alone are peculiar. This wasn't exactly the go-to drumming style in that year, where a traditional rock snare on tune four was the norm. The drum pattern also reminds me quite a lot of polka music. And mix it in with this early monophonic instrument. It's quite literally EDM in 1970, the same year that Let It Be, Paranoid, Led Zeppelin III came out. So how does Kraftwerk summon a sound like this, completely isolated from what was to come 20 years later? You say it again. Hey, hey you. you! Are you enjoying this video? Consider subscribing for more music-related content. Well, it turns out that before Kraftwerk was experimenting with synths and creating pop bangers, they were a straight-up krautrock band. Krautrock being the genre in Germany, consisting of highly syncopated drum patterns and minimalist instrumentation. Organization was a short-lived Krautrock band in 1969. They made one album, Tone Flat, which for many reasons didn't sell well. After RCA dropped them, some members went on to form Kraftwerk. The fusion of these early electronic instruments with the krautrock sound, polka drums, led to a prototype of 90s trance. It was a circumstantial recipe, and one that didn't spark major traction with listeners. In fact, Kraftwerk pretty much abandoned that sound quickly after. Autobahn, the band's breakout record, doesn't possess any of these attributes. Once they got their hands on more capable synths and early sequencers in the studio, they pivoted pretty drastically. So the fact that this performance even existed is awesome. Two sounds, decades apart, with little influence or connection between them. Kraftwerk was able to touch upon the blueprint of trance music through its own cultural context and technological aspects. So, when you think of a piece of music being ahead of its time, hopefully this comes to mind. All the digging around I've done on this wasteland of URLs, I've yet to come across something so wildly predictive. 